Today's the 22nd. Um, and I find it very interesting in the 22nd proverb. Verse 1. Please follow me along in the scriptures that we will be reading today. Please read along with me, word for word, verse by verse, at the scriptures we will be reading. Read along with me. Be a Berean. Search the scriptures daily, whether these things be so. Read along with me because the mouth goes quicker than the brain, sometimes, more often than not. And guess what? I'm fallible. I make mistakes. I make sometimes colossal, embarrassing mistakes. Proverbs chapter 22. Verses 1 on the verse 4. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor rather than silver and gold. Whose name? My name? Or the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father? You might want to throw in the argument, well, let's call ourselves Christians. Which one? Which one? Yeah. Never mind about that. The rich and bore me together. The Lord is the maker of them all. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. But the simple pass on and are punished, hiding ourselves under the cover of the shadow of his wings, hiding ourselves in Christ, not meaning that we don't take responsibility or accountability, but he is our refuge. He is our strength. He's the one who's holding you up when you got to face the music to do what's right in his eyes. Verse 4. By humility and fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Proverbs 16, verses 18 and 19. Have I ever mentioned to you that I have a pride problem? Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before fall. Better it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. <laughs> In the previous video, Millions of Christians. I made a colossal, embarrassing mistake. 10,000 times 10,000 is 100 million. And in the previous video, I said that it was 200,000. I was, I was obviously wrong about that, wasn't I? Yes, I was. And a dear, dear, dear beloved brother who has corrected me before was a bad dude. I made a mistake. Is wrong. 10,000 times 10,000 is 100 million. I was wrong. And it doesn't matter, pardon my language, I don't give a flip what you think of me. But what you think of my father matters very much to me. And it is my fault and it is my error. And as it says in the book of James, 
James chapter 5. James chapter 5. Now Catholicism messes this verse up in order to justify their satanic, wicked, Jesuitical confession where they get the secrets of men and then they use them to exploit other men and stuff like that. But in James chapter 5, verse 16, confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. I'm confessing my fault. But for you, the body of Christ, church and living God, my brethren, uh, those of you who are not, and even before my enemies. I made a mistake. I was wrong. 10,000 times 10,000 is 100 million, not 200,000. I am embarrassed by that. But, see, you've got to do the right thing. I was corrected. And what do you do with correction? Hmm? What do you do with it? Dear brethren, saints, church of the living God, it was my fault. I blame no one but me, and I take full responsibility for what I said in that video. And I repent. I was wrong. I made an error. Please, my brethren, Church of the Living God, dear saints, please forgive me. Question would come up, well, Brad, if then why are you leaving the video up? Transparency. It's important that you see that the one who does this, the one who has been called to share this with you, is fallible. And I make mistakes. And see, there are many people in this similar position who when they make a mistake, when they make an error, what do they do? They hush, hush. They delete the videos. And they try to keep it under wrap. I know, I understand. You don't air, you don't put out your uh, dirty laundry in public. Well, guess what, Jack? If you're in this position, you are in the public. Scott? Brad? It's important that you see my mistakes. But it's also important that you see that according to Scripture, you do what is right when you are called on your mistake. When you are called on it by a brother who loves you. As Brother Alexander has done to me. As the dear brother. And in the previous video, the pinned comment, that's the brother who did it. Okay? Bless him. I praise the Lord for him. Okay? Praise the Lord for brethren who love their servant. And out of love will correct you. See, the enemies go off of that, but they don't do it because they truly love you. They do it to destroy you. And then they say, oh, it's because I love you. It's, oh, shut up. No, you don't. No, you don't. So let's read some Proverbs. This video is going to be in that video. But see, the thing is, the other teachings in that video, okay, were, well, you know, the Lord gave me that stuff to, to you know, guide me through Scripture. And the mistake, the error is towards the latter end of the video. And um, the premise of the previous video was simply that many people today are forcing themselves, are trying to force themselves into the kingdom of God, the spiritual. And many of these people who call themselves Christians, who believe they are saved, who force their way in, are going to get left behind. That was the premise of the video on Monday. And the stuff we go through was spot on. Except that. So hence, that video is going to stay up. And besides that, got to be, you know, be not ignorant of Satan's devices. If I were to delete the video, there is a certain individual 
who had just uploaded on one of his myriad of channels anyway. But that's not the reason why it's staying up. Because, and you can check previous videos about that. I've always believed this. It's important that you see my mistakes. It's important that you see the repentance and the public humility. Because there are many, like I said, out there, these big shots who are up on their high horse. When they make a mistake, they don't do anything about it, but they try to cover it up. See, transparency. If you were to meet me out there, the guy who is sitting here ranting and raving uh, to you, talking to you about the Lord Jesus Christ and about the scriptures, is the same guy you would meet out there. Okay? What you see here is what you get. If you were to meet me out there, you'd meet the same guy that you're seeing right here. What about some of these other people who are in this position? Hmm? What about that big shot from uh, Northeast, huh? Is he the same person in public, away from the camera? Hmm? Hmm? What about people like John MacArthur, these big shots? What, uh, what about, uh, what's his name, um, the, the Ruckmanite guy, Augustus uh, Breaker, huh? You think those guys are the same off camera as they are on camera? I don't know. If you were to meet me in person, the one that you are seeing right here is the same one you would meet out there. And so many of these Christians put on an act because they got the... Look at our enemies. They put on the facade. You ain't getting no facade here, Jack. So let come what will. Let come what will. I don't fret man at all. But the Lord. So let's read some Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 1. Proverbs chapter 1. Proverbs chapter 1, verses 1 on the verse 9, if my fingers would get there. Proverbs 1, verses 1 on the verse 9. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. To know wisdom, the fear of the Lord, and instruction. To perceive the words of understanding, departing from evil. See, wisdom produces what? Knowledge. What wisdom? What knowledge? And understanding is to depart from evil. To receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, judgment, and equity. To give subtlety. To the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear, someone who fears the Lord, and will increase learning. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. As many of my dear brethren are, wise counsels. Because the people who I, I have fellowship with, you know what? They all fear the Lord. And my brethren, sisters. Okay? To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. They're dark because Jesus Christ, He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by Him. He is the light, capital L, that lighteneth all things. So the Lord in you will guide you into all truth. So the dark sayings are because people who are not saved try to get deep into Scripture, but they don't have the Lord Jesus Christ, hence the light not shining uh, on Scripture for them. Okay? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Yes, wisdom is the beginning of true knowledge. Okay? But fools who say in their heart, but fools despise wisdom, the fear of the Lord, and instruction. What do you do when you're rebuked? What do you do? My son, hear the instruction of thy father, and forsake not the law of thy mother. 
for they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head, and chains about thy neck. Proverbs 6, 20, under verse 25. My son, keep thy father's commandment, and forsake not the law of thy mother. Bind them continually upon thine heart, and tie them about thy neck. When thou goest, it shall lead thee. When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. And when thou awakest, it shall talk with thee. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. In Jesus Christ, he is the way, the truth, and the life. Now see, the dear sweetheart brother, could have come to me privately, and he did. But not on that specific thing, on other things as well. But um, I'm glad he did that way. It's like, I'm, I'm sure, he was like, oh, Brad, 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 it's Brad. See, see, that brother who did that, he loves me as his brother. And I love him as my brother. Because we have the same father. He did that out of love, not because he wants to destroy me or no. No. And reproofs of instruction are the way of life. And Jesus Christ, he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but my hand. And look at verse 24. To keep thee from the evil woman, mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, Satan's church. And what was Satan's sin? Pride. Did I mention I got a pride problem? From the flattery of the tongue of the strange woman. Verse 25. Lust not after her beauty in thine heart, neither let her take thee with her eyelids. What's the danger then? What's the danger? Well, I, I'm not going to you know, uh, try to finagle around it. No, no, no. No. See, the evil woman, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, Satan's church, okay? The, the church that Christ founded. Okay, you got to go to Mother Church. Let's you keep the set. Pride. 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 I got a pride problem. I got a thorn in the flesh. I got brethren who love me and rebuke me and refute me when needs be out of love. Not calling it love seeking to destroy one another. Which so many of our enemies do. Especially that one. There you go. That's for you, buddy. Okay? Proverbs 8. Proverbs 8. 32 on the verse 36. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not. <laughs> there have been several, many videos, where I've had to come out publicly because I was rebuked through scripture. It's like, what do you do with them? And when you run into that, you humble yourself, and especially in this position, like, hey, I made a mistake. Okay? You can see the mistakes. You can see the correction. It's important for transparency's sake. Okay, it is. It is. Hear instruction and be wise, fear the Lord, and refuse it not. And I'm not. Thank you. Blessed is the man that heareth me watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. Bless. But he that, wrong, he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. 1 Peter chapter 5. 1 Peter chapter 5. Verses 6 and 7. 
Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. No chastening for the moment seems joyous, but grievous. But afterwards it yieldeth what? The peaceable fruit of righteousness. I love a rebuke from a brother, from a sister, out of love. Not like these jerks who are trying to destroy you. Who serve Satan. See, telling the truth, that's how you should love. That's how you should love the friend. And the brethren who love me enough to tell me the truth. And it's like, like the dear brother, it's like, oh, Brad, Brad, it's a hundred. Brad, what are you doing? Humble yourself. I was wrong. I made a mistake. An embarrassing mistake. And you know that there's some of the, they, they, can't, they shouldn't be, shouldn't do this now, but there are some of my enemies who attempted to tell people that I was lying, that I, like, I went to co a Jesuit college. There were. There were some enemies who's like, oh, he's lying. He's been to a Jesuit college. He's got, you know. <laughs> come on. Even my enemies is like, oh, pff, come on. The guy can't even <laughs> multiply. You know? you know? But there were in the past. People tried to, it's like, oh, no, Brad, you went to a college or something. <laughs> They're my brethren. My dear my dear brother, my best friend, he could be like, no, no, Brad, <laughs> Brad doesn't have a, Brad doesn't even have a, have a good enough diploma. <laughs> and he could verify that. Because he has to be, when he hears me speak, it's like, okay, Brad, English lesson number 101. And pra praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. See, when you love someone, you do those things. James chapter 4. James chapter 4. The ultimate act of showing someone hatred is to cheer them on as they're going for a cliff. Not telling them the truth. Now granted, you don't have to be a jerk about it. Have a little tact. Like our, like our dear brother. He's like, Brad, <laughs> you know, in the comments, speaks for itself. You know? That, that was done tactfully. It's like, you know, and, and the brother, you know, it's like, Brad, I, I, you know, he really, I mean, he, he did have a choice because nothing was done at gunpoint, of course, but it's like, he had to do that publicly. He didn't have to, but he did. So, so others would see, like, you know, and also to bring it out publicly. That's, but see, it was done in love. Not like all these stupid devils do, trying to destroy us. Okay? James chapter 4, verses 6 on to verse 10. But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. That is a quote from Proverbs 3. Hold your place there and go to Proverbs 3. Proverbs 3, not Nahum. Proverbs 3, verse 34. Proverbs 3, verse 44, 34. Surely he giveth, surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. Now someone's like, oh, that's a kind of... No, no, lowly. Lowly, okay? If you're lowly, you are humble. You have humility. Okay? Lowly, humble. They go together like peas and carrots. It's not a contradiction. Okay? Go back to James. But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. 
We just the devil hell, like trying to put up the dukes. It's like, I'm not doing that. Ah, no. No. Draw nigh to God. He will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Doing what you want to do or doing the right thing what the Lord wants you to do. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. And remember what we said about chastisement? That when you're going through it, it really isn't fun. <laughs> but afterwards, it yieldeth the peaceful fruit of righteousness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. And He He shall lift you up. Well, we can go back to Proverbs. Proverbs 9. Proverbs 9. Proverbs 9. Verses 8 on to verse 12. Reprove not a scorner lest he hate thee. Someone who has made their choice and you want to rebuke them. It's like uh, with that uh, Dave Murphy guy. You know, it's... Uh, He's an he's a atheist. He loves his sin. If the Lord were to appear to him, he wouldn't rebuke, or wouldn't repent anyway. He admits that. I give him credit for that. At least you know where he stands. If I, a saint, or you, a saint, were to try to re, uh, reprove a scorner like that, he'd hate thee. Okay? And you get to yourself shame because he's already made his choice. You're casting your pearls before swine. He's dead set. Not that the Lord can't save him, but he's dead set. He's going off that cliff. And he wants to jump off that cliff headlong. But look at the contrast. Rebuke a wise man, someone who fears the Lord, he will love thee. Give instruction to a wise man, someone who fears the Lord, and he will be yet wiser. Yeah. Pay a little bit more attention, Brad. <laughs> Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. Verse 10. So what are we reading to? Uh, verse 12. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. For by me thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself. But if thou scornest, thou alone shalt bear it. Shalt bear it. Excuse me. Proverbs 15. 31 on to verse 33. The ear that heareth the reproof of life. Jesus Christ, he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by him. Abideth among the wise. He that refuseth instruction despiseth his own soul. What do you do with your what, what do you do with the rebuke? You dig your heels in and stonewall. Or do you be like <laughs> Thank you for teaching me humility, Lord? Here we go again. But he that heareth reproof getteth understanding. Departing from evil. Paying a little bit more attention. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. And before honor is humility. This isn't about me. This isn't about my wisdom or my knowledge. God forbid. As I said in that video, this is the Lord's ministry. And he allowed that mistake to happen. To humble me. Show me. And what did I learn? Why don't you pay a little bit more attention? The premise of the previous video I, we explain. 
It's staying up. Okay, because like I said, even even if my enemies wouldn't upload it on one of their myriad of channels, okay, even if I would still keep that up, I have to. Transparency to show you that this is not about man. This is about the Lord. And the Lord, whom he loves, he rebukes and chastens. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. And I'm repenting. So, uh, Proverbs 26, verses 5 and 6. Uh, that mu no, no, one second, please. Sorry about that, I wrote down the wrong one. Proverbs 27, 5 and 6. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. Oh, yeah. See, my brethren could, well, Brad, open rebuke is better than secret love. And we have the love of brethren, but it's like, you know, Brad, you, you made that horrible mistake. I love you, brother. Not at gunpoint, but it's like, I, I, I gotta, somebody gotta. I'd rather have my toes stomped by a brother who loves me, by a wife who loves me, by a sister who loves me. This is the way it's supposed to be so that we may grow and be humble. Because in Ephesians chapter 4, Ephesians chapter 4, verses 15 and 16. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body into the edifying of itself in love. Proverbs 29, verse 15. Proverbs 29, verse 15. Just one verse. The rod and reproof giveth wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth shame. This video will be uh, when I got another, got another video to do today. Um, this video will be put in the description box of the previous video, and it'll be like right right underneath, so you can right away see it. Okay, and vice versa, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, so when you click on that video, you'll see correction of something. Yeah, you'll you'll see this. So. Thank you. See, I'm fallible. I make mistakes. And when I'm corrected in truth and in love, the only option is to humble myself before the Lord and to take what will. I was wrong. I made a blunder, <laughs> quite a blunderous mistake, if that's even a word. And I'm sorry. And I repent. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. And I got another video to do here, so just wanted to make this real quick video addressing that. And um, see you in the next video.
Thank you, brother.